Yo, YouTubers and Narcans of Darkness, also known as Sir Killing Set of Color Struck, and I'm here to do Psychology of Kuna number three. It's going to be a little bit of a rant video. It's, um, it's going to be a little rough around the edges because I'm trying to do this as quickly as I possibly can, so bear with me. So, Psychology of Kuna number three. We're going to go ahead and focus on interracial dating. I have four videos on interracial dating. I haven't really changed my position on interracial dating. It is easy as hell. It's one simple thing about interracial dating that you can that you can automatically tell somebody's cooning is one thing but before i get into that i need to explain to you guys what cooning is because i know i didn't really explain what cooning is a lot of different people have different um definitions of cooning some people would say what i'm doing technically right now is cooning i don't understand how but that's their own definition and because cooning is a very broad thing you can all have your own definition of cooning i tend to take the uh Tariq elite uh, Tariq Nasheed approach of what a coon is. So, um, a coon is someone who basically pushes white supremacy. It doesn't, it doesn't have to necessarily, it doesn't, it could be thin or it could be thick. Ben Carson is one of those thick ones, right? He has influence. Uh, he can sway people's minds because he's a polarizing figure or I guess a, polar, a polarizing figure. He's, he, He's a neurosurgeon. He's a black neurosurgeon. He's one of the first people to, uh, I can't remember what he did exactly, but he's a fucking neurosurgeon, right? So, um, he has influence. So, but what, what he does is essentially he uses his influence to paint a, a broad picture of black people, a create or not necessary. He, he says things that are untrue about black people purposely to gain acceptance from his conservative white um counterparts right so that's he pushes that white supremacy he pushes these issues he pushes those he keeps that cyclical thing going with black people that i talked about in one of my other videos a cyclical thing that self-hate um that those belief systems he he he's the reason he, people like him are a reason why white people don't have to tell us don't have to say anything don't talk have to talk about black issues because when we talk about one thing, a mass of us talk about one thing, you always have that one black person saying, well, black people are, uh, well, black people are lazy. I grew up in the hood. I know black people are lazy. Cooning, right? So, and then you got the thin layer, which is someone like, I would say, Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy is a man now. Uh, he came up in a, in a rap game. He made a million dollars and he continues to perpetuate stereotypes of black males. And it's not like he grew up that way. Because okay, that's not what I heard, okay? It's not like he was raised that way, right? It was not like he was raised in the hood. And even though he wasn't raising a, even if he was raised in a hood, that's not what came across in his music videos early, right? He was kid, he was, you know what I'm saying? And as time went on, he got hooder and hooder and hooder, that, which makes no sense because you, you got a million dollars now. Why get hooder? Do something with your life, right? He's one of those thinly veiled coons who decided that they're not going to go do they're not going to do anything with their money but put up this facade and stereotype of black males so those are coons thick ones and the thin ones those at least from my own perspective they're pushing that stereo pushing stereo negative stereotypes about black people and they're doing it all for the white acceptance so this is how you can tell a black person is a coon when dating inter dating interracially right Whenever you talk to them about dating, about pursuing, about any of that, whether male or female, if they proceed to bash the men in their own race, mainly black people, if this black person decides they're going to go ahead and bash the opposite gender in their race, or the opposite sex, not gender, opposite sex in their race, then they are a coon. They're doing it for acceptance they're doing it because they hate themselves they're doing it because they've been conditioned socially conditioned to hate who they are socially conditioned to hate their blackness okay they're doing it for that very reason okay i don't date them i don't well i don't date black women because blank i don't date black men because blank the moment they say because it becomes an issue it becomes your prejudice you hate yourself that's always been my thing so if you're dating a white woman because you hate black women because it's black women it is you if you have to bash black women in order to justify what you're doing you hate yourself you hate who you are okay now it shouldn't be anybody's business 
It should not be anybody's business who you're dating. It should not be anybody's business. That is, that should be only your business. But the problem is, is people come out their mouth and start bashing. The problem also is you have children and then your children will pick up everything you said to them. All of these, these negative stereotypes about black people, black people, black men, black women, um, black stereotypes. They will pick all that shit up and they will move it in. They will continue to move that cyclical thing I talked about, that cyclical white supremacy. They will continue to push those ideals, those stereotypes onto our own people as they go on. They will continue that. Oh, I don't date black people because of this, blah, blah, blah. And basically, you eventually wash your own blackness out of your entire, out of your genes. Okay? Some people, it happens. Some people, it don't. Some some, some people, kids, see that they are are fucking coons, which is fucking hilarious. So, let me continue. So, uh, and this is coming from a black guy, a dark-skinned black man with a light-skinned woman. Because some people who happen, um, who happen to be coons... They don't necessarily date outside their race. They'll only date light skin. Like, I only date light skin girls. Or I only go with the chocolate the caramel. You know, they got to have their real hair. They got to have uh, a small nose. They got to have this. They got to have that. All They got to have these European features. They got to have colored eyes. I like colored eyes. They got to have all these things. They're not, while they are black, they are seen as Eurocentric. As Eurocentric beauty. Or closer to being white. So, a lot of people who do that. Me, I, I dated everybody right um now my wife she's light-skinned it's funny because one of our videos somebody decided was like oh my god you talk about all this black shit all this colorism shit and your wife she's a she's not non-black racially ambiguous curly haired girl that's what he that's what he called her and that's now it's an inside joke between me and my wife because i'll say it to her every once in a while it's, it's just fucking hilarious she'll say that shit too we were looking for a nickname for her so she can start doing videos with me what on my gaming channel on this channel and what that was the name that came up and it was just like oh that'll be over people's heads and it'll be too long so anyway let me stop you right there if you think, oh my God, you, you're talking about colorism and you promoting it yourself because you dating a light-skinned girl. No, 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 no. Like I said, I dated everybody. And that even does not even make me a coon. What, what makes me and my wife legitimate is simple. My wife is literally the only woman I've ever come in contact with, or black woman for that matter, I've ever come in contact with who like Kevin Smith films. I have two favorite directors. I'm a storyteller. I'm a writer. My two favorite directors are Spike Lee and fucking Kevin, Kevin Smith. When I saw on her profile, that's right, I met her through the internet. When I saw on her profile that she liked Kevin Smith, I decided to contact her. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have contacted her. Because I would have just been like, okay. Now, there was other things because she was talking about social activism and stuff on that profile, if I remember correctly, too. Right? So, I also like social activism. I have a blog that's been around here. Just hit 15,000 uh, subscribers. And it's been around for about nine years now. So that's why I'm with my wife. She understands social issues. And she likes Kevin Smith. What more can I fucking ask for, right? All right. Uh, she's all, There's a lot of different things. But when you're dating somebody, basically when you're dating somebody, you should like that person. You should match up with that person. You should not fetishize like, a lot of black guys, a lot of fucking coons decide they want to fetishize somebody. They want to fetishize, oh, I love me some a some Asian girls because, you know, that like, a lot of, a lot of the, like, anime nerds I've ever dealt with, a lot of these guys will say they don't like black girls because of this, and they, they only want, they only want to date Asian girls, or they only want to date white girls. Now, a lot of this is because they were ostracized as a child because they were different. But you also have to realize that when, because of your ostr because of your victim of that uh, cyclical social conditioning that we call acting white or acting black, because you're a victim of that, you're essentially turning the shit right the fuck back around. You're making it worse by going out and not realizing that there's these this is one group of people. There are plenty of black nerd girls out there who want black men. Okay, there are plenty of black. Nerd boys out there who want black women, okay, they're still attracted to you. They just happen to be ostracized because they're different. Unfortunately, we have to that anyway. But anyway, back to interracial dating. 